Welcome, hi everybody. This is day two of me being a student. Today is gonna be very, very challenging because, not because of the cost, because I got a visitor over here who's making demands from Moana to, what do you want? Huh? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have a big problem. He calls it chickity chew, and I think it's called Twilly Woos. So, you wanna watch Twilly Woos? Okay. I'm just hoping that I'll be able to concentrate and, and do the work. But besides that, you know, well, let me get some coffee. Today I think we're doing system thinking. Looking forward to the session. Yesterday was very very fruitful. We we're able to share. Thanks for joining me on the first vlog. It's approximately five o'clock and we just finished the first session on PGD. It has been a fruitful day. Today we were doing personal mastery and, and as part of personal mastery, I was quite amazed that we were able to share our personal, intimate personal stories with each other in the session without, I don't know nobody in the session, but I was here sharing my personal stories of what makes me vulnerable and stuff like that. And, and I reflected on it to say, when our whys are the same, we can be able to share anything, any personal stories we can be able to share. And I think it's a takeaway point for me to say once a group of people are together for, for one purpose, they, they are able to achieve more than they would if they don't know what their why is. And the fact that we were, we were able to learn from each other without, I mean, I, I don't know these people. I don't even know if they exist. For all I know, somebody is just playing a video on me of people in the session and pauses it and says, people are going on break and plays a game. It will be like I'm in, a, I'm in a simulation. I don't know this, I've never seen them, I've never touched them, I've never shaken hands with them, but I found myself able to talk to them. So it goes back to the whole thing of the sci-fi sci shows that those people, you know, talking to robots without being away. And and that's what I found myself in. And, and it's, it's a great feeling that because there's somebody on the other side, it's a live chat, you are able to connect and, and talk intimate stuff. It was not like a normal meeting where you're talking to your buddy. I mean, you've seen your buddy. But in this case, it was the first time that you're talking to these people. Unlike when I'm making this video, I make the video, then I edit it, then I send it out. And you know that, you know, you can rewind as much as possible. You should only say that. But in this case, you're talking to something, somebody else through the, the computer who responds to when you respond. When you talk intimate stuff, people can cry. And, and it was a revealer for me to say, really the pandemic has actually allowed me to cross boundaries on my side. What I thought was not possible, it is now possible. And, and we have to thank the process that we went through with when COVID-19 came here, that now people are able to open up and talk about this thing. Today I'm quite inquisitive about what I might be able to learn. I just want to look at, you know, how can I bring the whole system thinking into my reporting and also help those that I have influenced, that I can influence at work, to think big picture in their reporting. That, that's just me going through the notes, but <laughs> I, will, I will have to look at everything else in detail into it, but I'll, I'll keep you updated for this day. Oh, I got the coffee ready. The desk looks like a mess right now. There's a coffee, there's, there's a present that I got. Um, I think it was just sitting around and uh, what's the bigger present is over here. 
I think really we like decided to make Picasso and all of those makes makes my desk look like um, uh, you know really messy uh, compared to well, the Rato's one is very clean. My one is very messy. So, notebook ready, phones fully charged, and day two is it's really, really rough in terms of changing, you know, challenging my status quo. It's about personal thinking, and I think right now we're still on the session and it, you know there are just bombshells that goes over here to say about how we think and how we make other people not to be able to think and i think it's it, it's it's quite important things that for me as an analyst i'm reflecting how i'm shutting down people with my reports so i think i think it's, it's quite important I will try to write notes for myself on, on the thinking, allowing thinking, not just, not uh, group thinking, but individual it's not thinking. It's so not I think that's quite it's important. Accessible. Well, section, we should be able to get the what, so what, and then what, and you know, finalize the whole thing, and try not to talk about something that's outside of the conversation. I think the whole point was the steering of the, uh, of the conversation, which is quite difficult. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, so we've got the question. Okay. Can you start with the question? Uh, yeah. And the one that just posted around. Um, the question is, how can I, with the material of influence, transform everyday communication structures and engagement Thinking, since you're already on the podium, <laughs> let's continue. <laughs> All right, got a problem. I will drop the mic when I'm done. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll catch it and pass it over, yeah. like a rugby ball. <laughs> Wow, wonderful. It's such, a, it's such an important point that you raised now around different modes of communication. And it's difficult when you've got a big team. And the other thing I think, I've never mm. raised it in, in our session was around the yeah. I find that our mm. mm. I think people are disengaged because you know there's multitasking or a multitasking, shift tasking. They're doing stuff. So they're not always engaging as much as they're not trying their mind because they are doing something else. Did you so open water? That's one thing to do. Um, I know not everybody likes it, but everybody likes your videos. Um, but I do think it's almost creative vibe. And when you now have to look at somebody in the eye, you can see what's happening. Mm. You know, you're now on mute, so you're responding a lot quicker. And people are a bit more engaged in the dialogue. Mm. What do you guys think? That, that, that is quite interesting because. We, right now on the on the table we got two ways we got understanding what makes a person tick which is what it's talking about did I summarize it quite well true and then and on your side you have enabling people's voices I don't know is it too early to try to put the, the two together to say how do you any yeah okay let's 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 okay, take it down bring it in i think what 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 key for me also is so what do you guys think about that yo oh can can i can i just uh, while you edit when you're talking about that can we think about what the uh, new employees of 2020 um, how do they feel like because uh, I'm, I'm just assuming when you are when you have seen a person before you shook hands before you shared coffee before it's easy for karen to say let's create a coffee chat because in the moment even though i'm sitting here i'm drinking my own rainbows here at home in my mind with karen i'm thinking about us in the post area sharing coffee 
but how do we and your guy comes in in your in your scenario how do we bring them into the And you had a spear there. Eh? You wanna ask a question, quick? <laughs> okay, yeah. Sorry, I also want to say something, but I also wanna give an opportunity, and then I will say to answer the question that. That was quite nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you wanted to go? No, I was saying I don't know what you guys think. Yeah, that, that's quite nice. I actually wanted to ask the same, but what do you think? For me? <laughs> well, well, when we were in the bigger group, I just realized that maybe the effect that because I, 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 do, I do reporting now, a lot of reporting so most of the back then we used to do uh, slides now we do on power bi and i just got reminded that maybe my reporting should be in such a way to create individual thinking because think about it you go into um, a session and then well, it doesn't happen, but now we'll be flickering. Guys, are you on page one on Power BI? And, and we talk about that. So I'm, I'm, in a way, channeling people on what to talk about. And I'm reflecting on it to say, I'm not asking people what do they think about the matter. Whether it's walkaways or, I mean, we are in finance, so it could be our contribution to the one billion saving. I'm just giving people this is how much we've captured on the rolling forecast. This is this is the gap, which is vital information. But from from where I'm standing, at, uh, where I'm looking at now, it actually shut down somebody's voice because maybe that's not what they wanted in that thing. Maybe they wanted to talk about SAP being down. Yeah, I don't know, whatever tool that they're using to capture. Or, or they want to talk about the team not being in full capacity because one took the, the, the kid or the dog to the vet, you know? But the fact that I'm already chairing the meeting and I'm plugging in, I'm sharing my screen, and I'm like, we are the, and I'm thinking that I'm being proactive. But in a way, I'm shutting down people it's talking, and that is that is why I was quite um, jumpy at first. <laughs> I started thinking about how do you get people's uh, unique way of communicating, um, but in a way that will be effective, and then also spoke about trust. I mean, how how would people trust that? I'm not going to name and shame them to say, guys, <laughs> we are short, we haven't received BITE, we haven't received ME, we haven't received, you know? It's like a naming and shaming type of, just me sharing who has submitted and how far, is that 70 million is not enough. And on the session, if I include the exec, can you see that's what I was talking about? I said, now who's in the session? We, we go into hideaway. And as you guys were talking, I'm just absorbing all of these things and I'm like, yo! I don't know, what do you guys think? <laughs> Is how much power behind what you do in your reporting to think about it? So your reporting, in my mind, is the what? Mm. We need to make a void ramp savings or we save in X number, whatever it is, whatever your numbers are saying. That's the what, fantastic. Two minutes back. The so what and the now what is where you start igniting the dialogue. So where to come here? What does this mean? You know, we need to make this same, we need to make that head count or whatever it is. And mm. from there you get the conversation around the how and maybe you need to set that down to get to A, B, and C. Um, so I think that your report can ignite the dialogue and the now what and so what. Mm. If you, I would think maybe position numbers, whatever you do, you want power BI, 
but then from only that to the focal point, it's what happens there after, what's happening around that, what's going to contribute to that, or how we're going to move away from it. Mm. You know, or you've made the numbers, that's great, guys, but you know what, we actually haven't thought about something else that you haven't been talking about. It's a stupid example. Mm. Um, but I think there's a lot of power in your reporting that can open up and help a lot of dialogue. Sure. Guys, we got, we got a lot of, you know, this cow, we chopped it, we got rump steak on it, we got stewing beef out of this, I mean, we got everything, even the bones and the feet and the head, eh? So how do we, how do we, uh, can we summarize this as the, as the what of, of our conversation to say? Now, can, can we now start to get to, now that we know all these diverse views, about system thinking, how do we bring it together to create um, before before getting into a solution? How do we bring it together now to say what model can we put in place um, as way of bringing individuals' voice into the session? Everybody's got, I mean, different. We got trust. We got way of thinking. We got. Coffee talks. We got. We got everything different. How do we bring it together now, as as our model, just between the six of us? <laughs> ah, you know those computers. They eh? they stole from us. But thanks, guys. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Um, just on my side, I was trying to get to say I have seen that experiment work out. We had four graduates. It was one of those initiatives where we were trying to help out with unemployment. So we took some graduates into our team. And then one of the graduates, so as, as in finance department, there's this meeting that we do just before the numbers get finalized. We call it flash meeting. So you talk about what happens in the area. So you'll say in ADM, this is what's wrong. In INO, this is what's wrong. So one of the graduate, the first one to come forward to talk about the, the department. Funny enough is last year, we just converted that graduate into a permanent role as a financial officer. And, and it's quite important what he's talking about, just not you just doing it as a, just an idea. I'm, I'm just telling you, it has happened and I've seen it, it, it does work. The quieter people, when you give them a chance, they, they get out of their shell. And from there, you can easily see who, who can, you know, progress inside the, the department. I mean, she's the youngest one now in our team. I used to be the youngest for some time, but new blood is coming in and I'm quite happy with it. So it does work. Uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, day two, the conversation is, is, is really, really intense. It's about letting the space in between people in meetings, giving people the idea, the ability to, to think and, and have that said. I think that's quite powerful. We're in a break now. I uh, just took a quick shower from the morning. And then I went to put on a jacket because I had to take Buddy to the park. Just wanted to go to the park now. He's busy catching an afternoon nap. And I'm ready to rock and roll again and hit it hard. And this time, yo, I think the conversation is going to be really, really tough. It's about how do you let people in, in leading in, in a space to lead and let people into the conversation. Which is something, something that I always neglect let people into the conversation, not to dominate the conversation. I think that was quite powerful. But yeah, very, very fruitful, taking a lot of notes. Ooh, and I wish to implement all of this in, in, in my life. Thanks guys.